I lost my husband in 2003 to bowel cancer. Thank you. We just been five minutes. We're here with Lytton High School and some of us are dressed up as Hawaiians and some of us are dressed up as pirates and so you can find a few of us walking around. My mum has leukaemia so I'm here basically to sponsor her I guess, yeah support her. So, yeah. And my mum um, fought and survived uterine and cervical cancer so yeah I'm here for her. It's really inspiring definitely uh, this how many people like every, what is it, two years? Yeah, two, two years? years yeah. uh, come around for, everyone gets together in the community for this certain cause. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty beautiful. My wife, Vicky, so she was diagnosed with breast cancer two years ago and just finished the treatment this year. Yeah, it's a good thing to see everybody coming up from supporting for this sort of thing. You know, it's a bit of an epidemic in New Zealand now, isn't it? So um, yeah, it's good to see everybody out and about supporting this, you know, the survivors and people that haven't survived it, you know, I've had a brother at 48 pass over melanoma as well, so um, there's just too many people nowadays. I walk in 24 hours for my cousin who passed away last year with cancer and yeah, just show support for her. My mate done it two years ago for his mother so I thought I could try and do it as well. It's quite alright, time's going fast. <laughs> Not that faster bad. than I thought. I think it's great for everybody that's participating. Everybody has someone to walk for. Everybody's proud to walk for them, and then, oh, and especially for the survivors who have actually survived the cause. It's really great. Well, Owen and I both had diffuse large B cell um, lymphoma, and that's why we're the diffuse Bs. We've dropped the large from that. <laughs> I think it, um, you know, when you get cancer, it's a long journey, and I think that's why you have to walk for the 24 hours because it's a long journey, and it's not all that pleasant. <laughs> How has your experience been at the Relay for Life? Come play, brother. Come play. Bless your soul. Bless your soul. Oh, thank you. Which soul? My gentle soul or my hard soul? <laughs> Just witnessing everyone walking around, uh, the camaraderie and, and the common cause. Uh, it's been a real blessing to see those who are survivors and uh, Aroha Mai for all those who have passed away. Just your experience over the weekend? Um, awesome, yeah. And it's always hard. Oh, that's great. She's not with us. She's not here today. No, she's back in the hospital, but <laughs> she's all good. That's good. Thank you very much. You must have uh, gave away a lot of biscuits. Yeah, we uh, we got in contact with Griffins, and uh, they happily sponsored us with 75 packets of biscuits, and uh, we managed to give them all away the over the 24 hours. The, uh, the name came from two special ladies that worked for our school. Uh, their last name is Griffin. Uh, and when Griffin's heard about our story, they, they got him behind us. We've been on the track for 24 hours. Uh, we've been a slip here. And we've met new people and made new friends. Nothing good. I, I think it's a great community event. And um, it's good to see you on here behind it. And good to see the weather stay off the school. It's been really nice. It's been fun, but long. And sore. And sore. I must say, I love the, the, the shoes. Bright orange. What made you choose orange? Um, it was a team choice, and we just wanted to be able to make sure we could find each other all throughout the night. And just your experience of walking around like a zombie. I definitely feel like when I was walking. <laughs> yeah, we'll just call her the Walking Dead. Hey, ladies, what made you wear onesies? 
Oh, you're going to be hotter than that, eh? I'm absolutely exhausted and I've done a half marathon. Yes. We'll see you in two years' time? Absolutely. We're going to book in tomorrow. Oh, that's great. So you're going to register early? Yeah.